Guys, no, no, no. You uh, misunderstood me. I just need you for the backgrounds. Okay, come on. Out of my chair. Come on. I just want to take a moment to s Guys, no, no. Uh, can you just go to the beach or something? Hi, sorry. These birds are a little hard to handle sometimes. I just wanted to take a moment to say... Ready? Yep. My name is Tad Hills and I live in Brooklyn and I write and illustrate kids books. I've written and illustrated uh, about 17 books. When I was a kid, I used to draw and paint all the time. My grandmother was an artist. We'd paint flowers in her garden, and she always encouraged me to look at life from different angles. Like, instead of seeing one of her flowers, I'd see a monkey's face. <laughs> my backyard was fields and streams and ponds and forests, and my favorite stories when I was a kid always involved animals and nature. My first picture book was Duck and Goose, and it's about duck and goose who find a very special egg in the middle of the field. Kids often ask me if duck and goose live here with us. They don't, but they do visit. <laughs> Looks like it's time for a walk. Often my characters are with me and while I'm walking, they're talking to each other. I listen to what they say and they tell me what they want to do in these stories that I'm writing about them. A lot of times I walk with my dog Rocket, and when we got him, I knew that someday I would write a book about a dog named Rocket, and I did. I wrote the book called How Rocket Learned to Read. I've written six Rocket books in the series, and the most recent is R is for Rocket, an ABC book. I'm really excited about it, and Rocket's very excited about it, too. I have always liked to make things. I've made a lot of the things that you see around the house. Hello. When I had my own kids, I really looked forward to making their own costumes. The Chrysler Building, the Empire State Building, a lighthouse, our house, and then some monsters too. <laughs> and I like to show kids the pictures of the costumes because making a costume is very similar to making a story. I start with an idea, I do a couple of sketches, and then I keep on gluing pieces of cardboard together to build the Leaning Tower of Pisa. When I'm writing a story, I start with an idea, building this story using sentences and words. It's important to fix it and change it and write it again and again and again. I think that's an important message for kids. If you do it over and over, we'll make you better at it. The illustrations take a very long time. You know, it could take eight months to write and illustrate a book. Guys, come on, I'm, I'm in the middle of an interview. Do you mind? It's just not the best timing. Can you go to the playground or something? Thanks. All right. So, what was I saying? I hope that kids can hold on to their sense of wonder and curiosity and imagination. And my advice to kids is get out there, experience life, make something beautiful, and most importantly, have fun. <laughs> Goose is fine. He ruffles his feathers. Uh, I put a Band-Aid on the end of his beak. He'll, he'll be fine. 